From the Opopco Studios in Oklahoma City, this is OU Basketball with David Ubbin. I'm Jenny Carlson. David, a smashing almost end to the non-conference schedule for Oklahoma. A tiny gallon breaks a backboard over the weekend against Gonzaga. That might be the only good thing that came out of that game. Talk a little bit about the breaking and then also that Gonzaga loss. Yeah, I guess I think it was probably fitting that uh, you know he didn't score on the play that he did break the backboard. So uh, the alley-oop actually got tipped away and he needed to grab the rim to kind of balance himself because he said he got bumped on the play and he would have gone down kind of hard. But yeah, I mean, it was, it was definitely a highlight. They delayed the game for 50 minutes and uh, OU was down 18 at the time, so there wasn't a whole lot of um, you know, laughing or any, any way to really enjoy uh, what was you know, one of the best uh, sports highlights of the entire weekend you know, across the country. Yeah. Now the Sooners have one more non-conference game against Maryland Eastern Shore, and then conference play starts at 8-5. and five. How much work is left for this team to do in terms of trying to make a push to get, get into the NCAA tournament? Well, quite a bit, and a lot of it's going to come on the defensive end, and I think they're going to try to establish some momentum tonight. Um, you know, Maryland Eastern Shore, not a great team, 3-9. and nine, have had some bad losses, haven't really beat a team that um, you know, has proven themselves to be a, a team that's on the level of OU. Um, so OU shouldn't have a whole lot of trouble um, tonight against them. But then conference play starts on Saturday and it doesn't start easily. They've got to go to Baylor to play a really good Baylor team that's really you know, hungry to go back and, 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 work and build on what they did last year. And then they come back to Norman for a big Monday showdown on ESPN against uh, OSU for the first Bedlam game. So it's going to be tough, and, and you know, an 0 and 2 start in in conference play is, is a real possibility. But then again, if they can get themselves together and start playing defense like they did earlier in the year, 2 and 0 starts possible as well. Sounds like the sledding in conference play is going to be tough, but it becomes a lot easier if Willie Warren really gets it together. How's he playing? He he obviously had a big slump there uh, midway through conference non-conference play. How is he playing? Better heading into to conference play? Yeah, he's looked okay the last couple games on the offensive end at least. Uh, you know, he, he scored 19 points, I believe it was, and led uh, all scores against Gonzaga. Got his shot falling. Uh, it's really, basically, if he can get that, get that shot falling, get the defense to, to uh, you know, come up on him a little bit, open up the lane, he can get things and, and score from a lot of different ways. But if the shot's not falling, he's had trouble. All right. Thanks, David. Stay with the best coverage team anywhere at NewsOK.com and every day in the Oklahoman. Let's see it.